Hello and welcome to Pi Excellence Tutorials. A quick reminder, if you have not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, kindly subscribe and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new content. This is physics content. And I always say happiness is understanding and clearing physics. And this is the best platform for you, free videos that you can watch and you're not going to, 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 to complain, to say, no, physics is hard, okay? Because they will solve questions, okay? And uh, this is a number fourth question that uh, we are solving under thermophysics. So you can uh, check out other, other questions, other videos, and see what we did so that you update yourself. So you can also share this, uh, the link for the YouTube channel so that also others can uh, benefit from this channel. So the question says an automobile tire is inflated with air originally at 10 degrees Celsius and no more atmospheric pressure. During the process, the air is compressed to two to 28% of its original volume and the temperature is increased to 40 degrees. Okay, so, okay, I think that's too much. We can jot down the data. So the initial temperature is 10 degrees. But when I look at this question, this has to do with gas laws. Now under gas laws, you have to make sure that your temperature is in Kelvins. Okay, so you know how you convert temperature to Kelvins? You just add 273.15 K to what you have. So uh, um, we are going to have, um, we're going to have um, 283.15 K here. And then we also have, um, the volume, so initial volume is just going to be V. And then we are told, because we, we've been told, oh, sorry about that. We've been told that, uh, we've been told that um, the volume is just compressed 28 degrees, 28% 28 of its original. So if the original volume was V, okay. It means the final volume is 28% of V, which is V1, which is going to be 0 0.28 V, okay? And then we also had the temperature increased to 40 degrees Celsius, which is in Kelvin's, we get uh, 313.15K or 15K. Okay, so now we are asked to say, what is the tire pressure in Pascal? Okay, so uh, here we are going to have a general gas equation that and the final state as well, okay? So you're going to see that if we make, uh, oh, sorry, pressure one is 180 m atmosphere and we are looking for pressure two here. Yeah. So pressure two is basically, we're going to have something like that, V1, V1, T2, so, pressure, final pressure is going to be over V2, T1. So we can plug in, so we have one atmosphere and then V1, we have V and um, we also look at um, the final temperature which is 313.15 K and we divide all this by the volume. The final volume is 0.28 V 
and then we have also 283.15 K as our temperature. So uh, we are going to have that and that, that and that will go. So what we are going to have now is uh, Zero point two eight. Okay, so we're going to have three point nine five okay. atmosphere. Now in the question, you can see that we have been told to say, we have to leave it in Pascal. So we just have to recall the, the, the conversion of uh, atmospheres to Pascal. And we know that one atmospheric uh, pressure is uh, equivalent to 101325 uh, Pascal like uh, this is the conversion 1HM is going to be 101.325 Pascal. So this pressure in uh, Pascal is going to be calculated like that. I think you still remember uh, conversion factors and um, units and measurements. So pressure two is going to be four by 10 to the power five. Pascal. So that will be our our pressure in Pascal, and that is how uh, the first part of the equation gets solved. So for us to solve the second part of this equation, we are going to have um, the ones which were the final conditions, the final states in the question A are going to be the initial states in solving B. We are taught to say after the car is driven at high speed, the tires, uh, tires air temperature rises to 85 degrees Celsius and the tires interior volume increases by 2%. What is the new pressure? Okay, so we've said the, what was the finals here are going to be the initials there. So we have uh, we have um, for B, this is B. For data for B, we have um, volume B1 is going to be 0 0.28 B, okay? And T1 here is going to be 313.8. 15k. Okay. And the, um, the initial pressure is going to be this pressure that we have found. Pascal. Okay. Like that. Now we look at the question. The question we are taught to say temperature rose to 85 degrees. Okay. So 85 degrees Celsius is going to be. Is going to be three fifty eight. And then volume as well. So um, saying final temperature is going to be. 
358.15k and then v2 we are told to say increased by two percent so we have to find the two percent of the initial volume and add it to that initial volume so what we are going to have is is going to be okay, plus 0 0.28 we're going to have the final volume 0 0.2856V. I believe you've heard. So you find the 2% of the initial volume, this one, 0 0.28V. And then after finding, since it has increased, you add to, to that same one. Then that will be the new volume. Okay, so now we are looking for pressure too. So it's the same procedure that we used in air that we are going to use here. Okay, so now we have um, P2 is going to be P1, V1, T2 over V2, T1. So we can plug in and then we have four by 10, the power five Pascal as our pressure. And V1 is, uh, sorry, uh, V1 is 0 point, 0 0.28 V. Our second temperature is 358.15 K. And our, um, V2 is 0 0.2856V. And our T1 is 313.15K. Uh, okay. So you punch that on the calculator and what you're going to get is 4.49 by 10 to the power five Pascal. So that is how you, you solve that. Those are the steps that you use to solve that. People have difficult on this question, especially where it says percentage, it has been, it has increased by this percent. Okay. So don't get confused. This is what you basically do. Watch out for the next video.